Four years ago, Bishop Wenske invited our diocese to examine itself, to dream about our future and to lay a roadmap for the years ahead. This historic project brought together over a thousand Catholics to serve on 20 planning commissions in the first general sit-in of the Diocese of Orlando. The Alive in Christ campaign presents a very special next step for St. Joseph of the Forest Mission. The campaign is designed to fund the roadmap established by our Synod. We have a great opportunity to grow in our personal living relationship with Christ to lead our brothers and sisters to holiness and abundant life in Christ. We have much to celebrate already. From humble beginnings, a vibrant community has grown from the initial 100 families to over 230 families today. We are committed to lives of stewardship and service in the Lord's name. And we are blessed to be surrounded by God's magnificent creation in the heart of the Ocala National Forest. As we reflect on our shared journey of faith, we know that challenges still remain and opportunities abound. Through Alive in Christ, we have a unique opportunity to answer our baptismal call to grow, lead and share our living faith by addressing our most critical parish needs. Our greatest priorities for Alive in Christ are to construct a new parish office, expand our parish hall, and improve our parking area. We grow in our living and loving relationship with Christ through His Church. A new parish office will provide a comfortable and modern work environment for our church, staff, and volunteers. The building will also include a conference room, enabling us to strengthen our parish ministries. Through our religious education programs, we form our young people as faithful disciples and prepare them to lead others to a new life in Christ. A minor expansion to our parish hall will create much needed classrooms for the spiritual development of our youth. As we share God's abiding love, we want St. Joseph to remain safe and accessible for all our families today and in the future. We will improve our parking area by repaving the lot and creating additional parking spaces. We also plan to install new fire alarms and security systems to further enhance the safety of our property. Alive in Christ offers St. Joseph the opportunity to begin addressing the urgent needs of our mission, while also supporting the very important capital needs of our larger diocesan family. Through the Alive in Christ campaign, we will join together with every parish in the diocese to help fund the key priorities that emerge from our, our diocesan synod. Our goal for Alive in Christ is just under $175,000. If we are blessed to raise this amount, the proceeds will be used to fund our most urgent priorities. In addition, a portion of the funds raised through Alive in Christ will provide support for the many bold and exciting new projects taking place through the nine counties of our diocese. Our goal may seem daunting in our present economic climate, yet it is in these dark times that we need to invest in the values of the gospel, trusting God to lead us into the light. Over the years, Christ's faithful have given generously to provide us with the spiritual home we have today. With humble gratitude, let us follow in the footsteps of those who have gone before us, keeping in our hearts the knowledge that God is never outdone in generosity. It's my pleasure to introduce Bishop Wenske as he explains his vision for the Alive in Christ campaign. To come alive in Christ is to allow His grace to permeate our lives so that we try to, to think as He would think and to act as He would act. We are standing on the shoulders of those who have gone before us. We are blessed with people of faith and vision, people who embrace and celebrate their Catholic faith, transform communities, and make known the love of Christ throughout Central Florida. 
In Central Florida, our church is alive in Christ. In the next decade, the population here in the nine counties of our diocese could grow from the present four million to about seven million people. Parishes are the heart of the Catholic community and the primary instrument of the church to reveal God's presence in our world. The expansion of Catholic schools responds to our area's explosive population growth and families express desire for Catholic education. Educating our youth is a fundamental mission of the church in Central Florida. Through permanent endowments, Catholic education will be accessible to all families. As an outreach, the new Campus Ministry Center will help students understand the richness of their faith, enhance their relationship with God, and expose them to the best of Catholic spirituality and tradition. My biggest hope for the Diocese of Orlando is an increase of vocations to the priesthood so that we will be able to meet the needs of our people for sacramental ministries in future years. Throughout our nine counties, Catholic Charities is redefining its role as the major provider of services to meet the needs of our poor, hungry, and homeless. Our glorious God has blessed the Diocese of Orlando with a successful launch of the Alive in Christ campaign. It is with great conviction and confidence in God's grace that we begin this bold effort. Our goal is to raise $150 million. Strong parishes equal a strong diocese. And so the first 90 million will strengthen the mission and ministry at the parish level. And 60 million will support our larger church priorities as identified through our synod. Our church is about families, your own family, your parish family, in our growing Catholic family in the Diocese of Orlando. Please join me to ensure the success of the Alive in Christ campaign. Prayerfully consider your own sacrificial gift to Alive in Christ, as your pastor and I have personally done, to meet the needs of your parish and our diocese. Joining together, our church is truly Alive in Christ.